This is an explanation of how to do experiment 8.1 for the Apologia General Science textbook. This experiment is sort of like a game or a puzzle. And what you're seeing here is what the puzzle started like. Notice that there are six rows, and in each row there are three of the same shape. This is what the puzzle starts like, and the game or puzzle is that we are going to remove one card from each row, or one of the shapes from each row. These are randomly chosen, but just one from each row. So this is what we have left. The next thing that is done is that the cards are moved up to fill in all of the spaces. So we see this here, that the cards are moved up until they look like this. This is what you will see when you begin the experiment. You will have cards and when laid out properly they'll look something like this. The shapes may be a little different. And what the goal is, is to figure out what shapes are missing and in what order. Now when you look at this, that may seem a little bit challenging to figure that out, but it really is quite simple. Here's how you do it. You start at the top, on the top row. Notice that there's an X, an X, and a dash or line. Since we know in the original puzzle there were three of the same shape in a row, we know that the shape here has to be three X's. So that dash line is not supposed to be there, and we move it down. Now we look at the second row, and we see we have a dash, a star, and a dash. The two that are alike are the dashes, so we know that that third one in the middle needs to be a dash. So we move that row, or that column, I'm sorry, that column we move down. Now we go to the third row. We have a star, a star, and a circle. Now we see that this should be a row of stars, so the circle is in the wrong place, and we move that column down. Now, in our fourth row, we have a square, a circle, and a circle. So now, this row should be all circles, so we move the square down. The fifth row now has a square, a triangle, and a square. Those all need to be squares, so we move the triangle down. Now you see what this puzzle was like, the intermediate step, and if we filled in the shapes, this is what we would have, returning us back to the original where we have the same shape in, for filling up each row. When you report your answers for problems like this, what I'd like you to report is this, where you list the symbols from top to bottom. So X, dash, star, circle, square, triangle. That is how you would report your answers to me as the shapes that uh, were missing in each row. So that's how you solve these puzzles. What you need to do next is I'm going to give you a couple of opportunities to practice with this. So you were sent um, some cards that had these numbers A1234, B1234, C1234. I want you to get those out and lay them on the table or desk in front of you. Make sure that they are arranged like this. All the A's are in order in column 1, the B's in order in column 2, and the C's in order in column 3. Once you've got them laid out and you're sure that they're correct, I want you to pause the video that you're watching and solve this. When you have the solution, I want you to write down what your answer is, where you're listing the six different shapes from top to bottom. Then you can start the video again 
and see if your answers are right. Okay, now that you've completed this, let's look at how you would solve it. Move that down, then move that down, then that, then that. So your answer here, whoops, let's back up there, sorry. Whoops, okay. So your answer that you should have written down was square x triangle star dash circle. That's what you should have gotten when you solve this problem or this particular example. Okay, push all those aside. We're all done with those. Let's go to the next one. Now you've got your D1234, E1234, and F1234. Lay those out on the table. And I want you to solve this one and write down your answers. But first, you need to pause the video. And when you're done, start the video again and see if you got it right. OK, hopefully you got that finished. Let's see how we do this one. First, we move this down. Then this is down. Then this one and this one, and this one. So your answers that you would report to me would be circle x triangle dash star square. So that's how you solve these. And when it's time for you to do experiment 8.1, I will send you, I will have sent you another set of cards that you are to use, and then you will email me your answers. Just email me if you have any questions about this. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. This is a little bit different kind of experiment, kind of fun to solve the puzzle.